Hello, uh, this video will present how you can analyze slurry field trenches and panels using our software program Trends. You can control the units from this menu. We'll switch to English units. Select the S. The soil profile is uh, shown here on this borehole profile. The trends is controlled here, so we can double click and select the depth of our slurry fill trends. So let's select 60 feet in this example. We can move the project elevation, select the project info. So let's say <coughs> example project. Then we can edit our soil types, and here we have our basic soil type, so we have our soil name, description, color, we can show SPT, CPT test data options. We have the total unit weight below the water table, and we can enter the effective the unit weight above the water table. We can put an effective cohesion, friction angle, and we have different soil types that we can use. We can double click on the boring, specify the elevations and the layers. We can go in the model screen and here we can change the groundwater elevation. So we can put elevation minus 15 for example. We can go inside here and define the combinations for the slurry trend analysis. So first of all, we have to define the length of the panel into the screen, let's say 20 feet. The width of the panel is basically for uh, <coughs> reference, it's not really used in the calculations, but typically you're looking into 3 foot or 2 foot uh, lengths. A depth to the slurry, so we'll put 2 feet, a slurry density, let's say 72 feet. These parameters here calculate the side cohesion resistance, we can also put the search as intensity, let's put like a <coughs> 200 uh, pounds per square foot. There's an option to use the search as in the main design section. This will be in a case where we want to draw a search as. Then there is there are advanced options here. For the 2D analysis, we can use the active pressures and there, there is also alternative definitions of how the safety factors can be computed. We'll click OK, select to analyze the selected design, so once the, analysis, once the analysis is complete we see two results, one is for the 2D analysis and one is for the 3D analysis. We know that most uh, slide trans panels work because there is 3D action. In the upper few feet, we see that the safety factor is usually smaller than one. This is to be expected. And usually what happens is there are some small cave-ins or we have a guide wall that is taking care of this section of the wall. We can close this. We can see the results on the screen. Take out the safety factors for 3D, see the soil stresses. Now alternatively, we can right click here, adding, uh, add this new section, and in this section we can go in on the model tab, load supports, we can draw in the search search. We can also put in some 3D loads if we want. And we could go here on the general, on the slide trans combinations, add a new combination, select the new design section, and here for example use the search charges in the main design section instead. So this will use the 1KSF load. <coughs> you have to make sure that your search charges are included on the left side of the wall. So now we can reanalyze this case, which is the second design section that we've built.
we're waiting for the results of the computers. Now, if you had clays from this menu here, it would switch between drain and drain response. And you can also add stages. So let's close this. And here we can see the results <coughs> that we're getting. And now that we're putting a heavier search, we see that their safety factor is dropping down further on the upper few feet. If we want to uh, export to the reports, we'll go export. We have to select which design sections to include or select all. We can preview, export to PDF, export to Word. This is the report format, and these are the available sections. This shows a summary. And this basically concludes our presentation of trends. Uh, please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. We'll be more than glad to help you. Thank you.